Changes now to the top end. The top ten looks to be reasonably well set. Pete Brent, Pete Brent goes through there, and he's closely followed by 2017. So lost a little bit of time there from the start. And Rob Hudson takes the ball on his opening lap. Uh, no changes though at the top end of the leaderboard. Top ten remaining intact as it was when they came through here. No Michael Sweeney by two and a half seconds. Grab Davy third, he's three back. Trevor Ferguson fourth, he's the second back on Davy. Stephen McDonald, three and back on Ferguson. Another two together now. 26 and 25. Uh, 25, uh, 25 deal Chadwick, 26 Peter Wakefield, but uh, Wakefield is ahead of Chadwick on the road, so he's made up more than 10 seconds between the grandstands and here. Wakefield drops in for 19 from the leaderboard, Chadwick presses first. So Gittins ahead of Fowler, but uh, only just and not quite making it into the top 20. Another bike tips in, big knee out there, don't normally see that too much here, that's Billy Cummins, the decorator, a little bit of style there from Billy, uh, gets his knee out nice and early onto the uh, entry point for this long sweep and left-hander, it's a case of uh, letting it drift around, give it a little bit of a now to climb up the way towards Sarah's cottage. And uh, another machine now tips in, this left-hander, that's third to one, that's third to one. His opening lap, uh, but uh, making too much impression on the top end of the leaderboard. Nigel Howard, 32, he's looking for another replica this year, and uh, he is currently holding 23rd position, uh, 10 seconds back on 22nd place. The top end of the leaderboard, there is no change though. We'll give you a quick top 10. Second draft, Davy third, he's Sweeney. Fourth is Trevor Ferguson, second back on Davy. Fifth, Stephen McMahon. Seventh point is here, eighth on the And tenth, Rob Hudson, back to the grandstand. The Manx Grand Prix is here, so don't forget that the road will be visited. The national vehicles will still be using the same roads to supply services. So, ride safely, keep to the speed limits, and on the bills, keep the road lines. The road is only a racetrack when a race is on. And if you're out drinking, leave your bike behind. Enjoy the Grand Prix and visit our island again soon. Stay alert, stay alive. This message is brought to you by the Department of Infrastructure's Road Safety Team. Would owners of domestic animals and livestock join the TT course? Please ensure that they are secure during the periods. <laughs> Well, the joker in the back is going to be Phil McGurk because he did eventually get sent into the game. I see Phil McGurk not a month starter, but he's starting at the back of the grid. Could have an impact on the placings. Number five, though, Joe Phillips, is a retirement at Porter Bridge. Porter Bridge. The lightweights are leaving the grid now, but we're heading up the road for the Super Twins with Roy. Yes, uh, Phil McGurk still in the back of the grid. Wayne Trophy, I think, did that one in the TT one year and upset the apple cart by two to win, and that caused a Honda protest. But the two Ryan seem to hear the two ahead on the road. Nigel Moore ahead of number one, Trevor. They've both through, so that's ten seconds there. We can work out on that of those who have gone through because starting number two, obviously, if uh, number two has passed number one on the road, he's got that ten seconds plus whatever the distance is between the first runner's back wheel and the front the second runner's back wheel. And it's 10.48 seconds if you have to be absolutely correct. Nigel Moore leads here at Ramsey Hairpin, but we're looking out for Michael Sweeney. And also Rap Davy, who is going through the lap and third and fourth position, Trevor Thurk. Monsters as well, and there's number four. He's now through Ramsey Hairpin. Brian Mateer, the first of the 250s through. And he accelerates that to away and certainly Brian Matias knocks into third place at the moment with five seconds down on Trevor Ferguson but that's only off the ones who have gone through. Brilliant sunshine here at Ramsey and a good crowd of spectators, another very, very fast approach and he gets it up about there and that is number seven and number six behind him, Michael Green.
three quarters of a second down on Trevor third place. So Trevor Ferguson, Michael Sweeney on the second down. Second down the second. He's number eight here now. Number eight is through. Rap Davies. He's locked in. He's locked into fifth. He's behind Brian McKeer. Brian McKeer behind Michael Sweeney. by four. Top six now is Wayne Kerwin, who is just one and a half seconds down on Rap Davy. So we've had one, two, three, six seconds through Ramsey here on the first lap of this. He's lightweight. Manx Grand Prix. This will make it eight of the two now. Because we to do down through the box, tight to the inside. Sunshine, that is number nine, Mike Mims. So we took the information the other day that he was actually leading in seventh place. So he's 17 seconds down on Wayne Kerwin. Here at Ramsey is number two, Nigel Moore. With a machine interview, that's number 11, that's Andy Dudgeon. So he's through Ramsey now. Away from Ramsey, the old full of sponsorship. With a machine interview, down to Get out to Dudgeon into eighth place, that is number 10. Number 10 is Kim so Tom Snow will probably be the next of the 250s through. Being led by a four-stroke of number 12. Here at 